I spent most of my life, up until I came to this training, trying to build an identity, trying to be like the best version of Romy. Like, and what, what is that? So that's, you know, somebody who is very successful, makes a lot of money, somebody who's attractive to everybody, somebody who has only happy thoughts, somebody who um, has a really great career. And I just thought, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a very long list of things that I thought would make me, you know, the best version of myself. <coughs> and, um, and I thought if I could just get all of these things in place, then I would be happy. So that's what I did. That's how I spent my life. Like, okay, so I need to be in a really, I need to be in a relationship. So I'd find that, that special person that would make me feel really, really happy so I could have this relationship and feel complete. And then at some point, all of a sudden, I start feeling like, oh, maybe he's not the one. Maybe there's somebody better out there. So as soon as I felt something negative, that meant something needs to change. So I end the relationship with that person and I go and look for somebody else so that I can have a constant state of positive thoughts. I don't have enough money in my life. All right, so I need to go find a job to make money so that I can feel comfortable because if I don't have enough money, then I start to feel anxious. And when I'm feeling anxious, I don't feel comfortable. So, okay, what am I going to do? I'm going to dedicate the next few years of my life to making money. So I get a really good job and I start making money and now I've got money in my bank account. And then I feel, oh, I'm a bit overweight. All right, now I need to dedicate my life to losing weight and making my body into something that everybody can look at and admire and think, oh my God, she's so amazing and look at her and I wish I could be her and, and, and then I would be happy, you know? Somehow I thought that that would make me happy. <laughs> so I, you know, enroll into being a, doing a yoga course, like a, you know, intensive yoga course and I, learn about food and I micromanage everything that I'm eating and and after like a, a year of dedication on building up this this perfect body I achieve something like that like I think oh you know like wow yeah it's like I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way that I look and then all of a sudden in my new relationship I start to think oh maybe I could find something better <laughs> and then <clears throat> And then at the same time, my job, I start getting bored. Don't want to work in a conventional job anymore. I want to go travel the world. And it's like, it's just forever like that. <laughs> it doesn't end. <laughs> it, it never, ever ends. I tried for years and years and years in my life. Went traveling, thought, yeah, that's it. Go traveling. After three years, no more money. Oh, God, anxiety again. Like, it's just, it's, it's never ending. And that's how we can potentially spend the rest of our lives until our deathbed living. Like, constantly believing that when we achieve that, then we'll be happy. And it, it never works. It never, ever works. It's not possible for it to work. Because essentially what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to achieve a constant state of only happy thoughts, only positive thoughts. And as soon as something negative comes to us, something's got to change, got to move, got to go in a different direction. And negative thoughts will always arise. This is life, this is reality, get used to it, that's how it is. Negativity will always come up. And we are so lucky, everybody sitting in this room is so lucky because you know, now you know, that you don't need to spend the rest of your life trying to avoid negativity and trying to attain positivity.
you can just relax right now completely relax and allow all of your thoughts all of your emotions all of your sensations to be exactly as they are like exactly exactly as they are nothing needs to change about you about your thoughts about your negativity nothing needs to change this is I mean this is huge this is so many people in the world don't know this about themselves they don't know that they can let their thoughts be exactly as they are and that they self-release like a knot, like a snake unties itself in a knot. You don't need to pick up the snake, you don't need to try to untangle the snake, it just self-releases. That's what happens to all of our thoughts when we just let them be as they are. So, for example, in that example I was talking about in a relationship, when all of a sudden I start to have the thought, oh, maybe I could find something better. So my whole life what I would do is I would, all right, I need to do something about that. I need to try and do something with that thought. End the relationship, find a new person. End the relationship, find a new person. That data stream, that thought, that emotion, it always arose at some point. Now I have another choice. I can just let it be as it is. I can just let it resolve on its own. I can see that there's nothing that I need to do about it. And in that self-release, in that complete openness, I recognize and I see my primary identity, my true identity that is so obvious when I stop trying to micromanage my thoughts and emotions and sensations. And in Balanced View, we just call that data streams, thoughts, emotions, sensations, data. When I stop trying to micromanage my data, there it is, bright, clear, open intelligence, powerful, open intelligence. It's so obvious. And the more and more that we stop playing around with our data streams, the more obvious open intelligence becomes. This is just who we are. This is what we are. And as soon as we start acting in the way that we're in the way that nature intended us to act, just completely relaxing with all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, open intelligence shines bright. And we start getting used to that. We start getting used to living as open intelligence. We start getting used to living as this power of benefit. That's what open intelligence is bright, shining benefit. So just in case you're still wondering what is open intelligence, where is it, how can I access it, just stop thinking for a moment. There it is. Simple, easy. Don't need to meditate for 10,000 years. Don't need to run around screaming out your anger don't need to do anything just take a short moment of open intelligence just like that uh, I spent so much money and time and energy trying to get rid of my anxiety like that was one really big thing for me was anxiety and I went to do many different courses and I tried drawing it out and I tried screaming it out I tried just many really weird different things to try to make it go away and maybe I had success for like you know a week or something like that maybe even a month with some things but at some point the anxiety always came back it always came back and it always will come back at some point even if you manage to not have it for years at some point it will come back when you don't want it so Right now you have the opportunity to recognize open intelligence and see that you don't need to spend any money trying to get the anxiety going away. You don't need to do any weird things or weird practices. You just t take one short moment of open intelligence and you see that that anxiety is exactly the same as open intelligence. It's inseparable from open intelligence, like the color blue in the sky, inseparable. 
And so when you recognize that that anxiety is the same beneficial potency as open intelligence, it's like, why have I ever invested any energy and time of my life trying to get rid of this? It just stops making sense. It stops making sense that you would want to change yourself. I, I always loved the idea of loving myself as I am. I always thought, oh yeah, that sounds really good. And lots of people talk about that, like you've got to love yourself as you are. And it's like, yeah, I've got to love myself as I am. That sounds really great. <laughs> and this is the true definition of what loving yourself as you are is. Loving your anxiety in an uncontrived way, not being like, oh, anxiety's there. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> not like that, not like that at all. <laughs> in a really uncontrived way, completely relaxing. Anxiety arises and just allowing it to be as it is and seeing that it is pure benefit. It is your power. This is you. This is you. This is inseparable from you. And by allowing your anxiety or whatever it is that is your affliction, I'm not good enough. This is how you shine. This is where you shine. Because for so long, I thought, impossible to shine with all of this negativity going on. Can't shine in that way. I can only shine when I'm feeling positive thoughts. But that, that's not true. That's such a limitation of how you can shine. Shining, bright, shining suns. That's what we all are all of the time. And we shine brighter and brighter and brighter the more we allow ourselves to be exactly as we are the more we allow our anxiety, our fear, our paranoia, our social awkwardness, everything, to just be exactly as it is. And it just becomes hilarious. It becomes a hilarious display and completely relaxing. Not something that feels so heavy anymore. Like something that just is complete relaxation. And so in order to recognize open intelligence, in order to allow yourself to be exactly as you are, in order to allow your shine to grow brighter and brighter, we have an incredible support system called the Four Mainstays here at Balance View that you can just use however you want to use it. In your own style, bring it into your life in your own way. And, and just see how the four mainstays just empower open intelligence in your life. So you've got the short moments of open intelligence, just like that. You know how to do that now. And now you'll never forget that for the rest of your life. Even if you try to forget it, even if you try to forget your primary identity as open intelligence, you can't. It will be with you for the rest of your life now. So, may as well get used to it. And it's amazing life to get used to open intelligence. It's really an amazing life. You have um, access, once you complete the 12 empowerments, you have access to, you can ask for access to a trainer, a, a personal trainer. There's many trainers in Balanced View, and a trainer can support you to empower open intelligence in your life. I can write an email to my trainer if I'm feeling like I'm really upset at somebody, angry at someone. I just instantly write an email to my trainer and she writes back to me something and it's just completely amazing. And I feel like, wow, so, so lucky that I didn't spend all of my energy gossiping about that person. You know, or telling that person how wrong they are. I have this the trainer to just support me to be the best version of myself. And then we also have the community, which is all of you just exemplifying life as open intelligence. And short moments, the training media. <laughs> the training media, which is just, you know, put it on your iPod. I, I, love, I love to swim, so I have an underwater iPod. 
and, um, and I swim and I listen to talks while I swim. And you can't just bring talks into your life or participate in trainings as often as you like. Everything's available online. So even if you live a really conventional lifestyle, you can bring open intelligence into your house online. You don't need to live in any specific way. I always thought that if I wanted to rely on open intelligence, then I need to be in the nature, in India, away from the city, away from traffic, and, um, you know, just away from everything that I was doing. But it's not true. Like, I've even seen that I can work in a shopping centre. It used to be one of my most afflictive states, being in a shopping centre. I can work in a shopping <coughs> centre and open intelligence is still there, shining brightly. So open intelligence is available everywhere. You don't need anything to see open intelligence. And that's what the Four Mainstays shows you. It's just Four Mainstays are just available for you for right now, in this time, in this day and age not bounded by any, anything. Just taking up the four mainstays and see how open intelligence is obvious everywhere that you are in your life.